Hello there and welcome. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at computing forces on a static face. So the face we're interested in is the bottom face, which you can see has been highlighted around the bottom there. So we're now going to go to case summary on the right hand side and we're going to look at bottom in objects information and we're going to make note of the fact that this object has mk value of 11. So if we just close this window, we're now going to click on compute forces. So as you can see, there are several different file types available. We're going to use CSV as it allows easy importation into Excel. We're going to compute the force at MK11. We're going to call this static force. And we're going to click export just there. And once that's exported, we'll just briefly show where that file is saved. So if we go into our floating sphere folder, we can see that we have the floating sphere case out folder there and if we look within that we can find our CSV file. So it's the same folder where all of the output files from the simulation are output. If we just close that. We're now going to go into Excel. We're going to open up our static force CSV file that we've just created. Um, so this is contained within the floating sphere case out um, as this is done on the floating sphere case. Um, so we're going to click on all files and we'll search for static force. There it is there. And we're going to open this up in Excel. So we're now going to select the entire A column. We're going to click on data in the top we're going to click on text to column in the options bar and we're going to click delimited. We're going to tick the semicolon box which as you can see in the preview window divides everything up into columns based on where the semicolon is. We're now going to click on the top of the time and we're going to scroll down to the bottom. Now holding shift we're going to click on the bottom row to select that entire column back up to the top we're going to press control and click on forces and again scroll down to the bottom and again holding shift we're going to click on that bottom value there so we're now going to click on insert on the top menu we're going to go for a scatter graph we're going to go for the scatter with straight lines and there you have our forces as seen on the bottom face applied by the fluid. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any further questions, please go to the Jules Physics Forum or contact us at julesphysics at gmail.com.